Atmis police components have engaged in series of operations and activities. And basically, our mandate here is to support the Somali police in terms of capabilities, to improve their cap capability in uh, different police thematic areas. We have uh, operational areas, we have training areas, and we have reform areas. In operations, we have the FPU, who normally you know, escort the IPOs in co-locating with our colleagues, that is the Somali Police Force. We go to their various police stations and we do uh, mentoring. We coach them on the field in uh, different uh, policing aspects like community policing, station management, and station management involves different things like uh, uh, cells, how they manage their cells, how they, they manage cases, how they manage the different books in the police stations, and how they handle suspects in terms of uh, respecting human rights and the uh, rule of law. We have been able to, to identify needs of the Somali police, and one of these needs are, are trying to get uh, areas, newly liberated areas, to see how we could establish police presence in these newly liberated areas. able to achieve training 7,521 SPF in these various thematic areas, including female police officers. And for the reform and restructuring, we are also able to uh, engage the leadership to identify areas of their needs. And by so doing, we were able to identify areas of uh, improving on their standards. So we achieved by installing the automated asset management system for four uh, police uh, areas. Now, as we are heading towards the exit of uh, ATMIS in 2024, December 31st, our priorities is uh, mainly to enhance the capability of the Somali police force, wherein when we shall have left, they will be able to handle fully security issues and security you know, you know, uh, policing uh, affairs by themselves. So in this case, we have identified four areas, thematic areas. One is community policing, to be able to interact with their community people or with the population, the rest of the population, to, you know, to pass on information to them, which can help them to degrade Al-Shabaab. We have also planned to give them training, TOT training, in public order management. Public order management is like a police officers handling weapon and police officers going to, to, to curtail any public disorder in any uh, environment or any situation. And the third one is, uh, is uh, sexual and gender-based management. You know, as we'll be exiting, there are these new liberated areas where it is very populated with uh, civilians. So we need police officers to be there to handle those issues. Equipping them with these skills and the, you know, the knowledge, they will be able to handle you know, uh, you know, sensitive issues like this. And then we also try to enhance their knowledge in uh, countering terrorism and prevention of, uh, of, 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 of these ter terrorist attacks and also the protection of uh, civilians. We're also trying to uh, have training for community safety volunteers. These are a group of people who work close with uh, their own police officers. So this group of people, 
come together to support with information, intelligence, and even aid them in terms of, uh, you know, when they go out in sensitization, because these people are the eyes, they, you know, they are stakeholders in various communities. We also plan uh, to have uh, uh, training, TOT training, for the senior level, and also managing station, station management courses for them because uh, they need to actually restructure or reconfigure their police.